stayed up late last night to watch Jerron Boots Ennis. He's fighting in his hometown, Philadelphia. He hasn't fought in Philadelphia since 2018. He fought at the Wells Fargo Arena. And I've been there a few times to watch the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, if you know anything about my channel, you know good and well, I'm a Sixer fan. I always talk about the Sixers on my channel. But getting back to Jerron Boots Ennis, a year layoff. Year layoff. Then he fought a fighter taking a fight on four weeks' notice. A fighter that's 35 years old. Now, the fighter named David Anavisan, 30 and 5 record or 29 and 5 record. You could see from the opening bell, he didn't, he didn't have a shot. Boots towered over him. Boots was just a better fighter. Now, Boots was coming off a year layoff. But you could see he didn't respect his opponent. He took it right to him. He was a stronger fighter. He worked the body. Boots is smiling in there, smiling between rounds. This guy was just overmatched. Boots is a real good fighter. Now, Boots broke him, Boots broke him down with the body. A lot of body shots. A lot of body shots. He took a couple of shots. That guy couldn't hurt him. Now, David Anavi said he was a game fighter, but he couldn't hurt Boots. Boots stood right in front of him. Boots knew he couldn't hurt him. He knew Anna Vincen couldn't hurt him. So he kept breaking him down to the body, then going to the head, breaking him down to the body, going back to the head. And he got him out there. Well, he knocked him down in the fifth round, and, and Anna Vincen couldn't continue, and he lost the fight. It was a TKO. He couldn't come out for the sixth round. They waved the fight off. They also said he had a broken jaw. So now after the fight, Eddie Hearn came in the ring and said, you know what? Jerron Ellis is too inactive. Too, act, too inactive. Our plan is to unify all the belts at 147. So that's going to take maybe a year, year and a half maybe. So you want to get him back in the ring in October. And then eventually Boots will move up to 154. And of course I like to fight Terrence Crawford. But first you got to do the work at 147 to unify the belt. What I like about Boots, he's humble. Said I he'll fight anybody. But he, there's a chance he could fight Terrence Crawford. But Terrence Crawford's plan is to fight at 154, then 160, and then probably 168. He's preparing for Canelo Alvarez. But after last night's victory, Jerome Boots Ennis, Terrence Crawford at 154, would be a big fight. Boots looked like he was 154 last night. Making the weight would be easy for both fighters. And Eddie Hearn is the promoter. Both guys will make a lot of money. But the game plan for Jerron Boots Ennis is to unify all the belts, which he will do. And Philly really came out for Boots Ennis. It was over 14,000 people that came out to watch him. One thing about Philadelphia fans, they love their athletes. And Boots is a fan's favorite. Now, most of the time when I'm watching Boots is on YouTube videos. So it was good to watch an entire Boots fight live. And he didn't disappoint me. Welcome, Hollywood. Just got the latest corner sports tonight.